All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are here on version 12.3.6. Um, so we are still on 12.3.6 from the previous video, which is A-OK -okay because this version is doing quite well. Um, you know, what's interesting, we recently had an announcement from uh, Elon on X. Uh, he replied to uh, Omar at uh, Mars Catalog there, whole Mars Catalog, and he said something interesting. He said that next week, which is the, the upcoming week here, it's Saturday now, but the upcoming week, we, we, we will see 12.4 uh, start to roll out. And he's promised a five to 10 time improvement on 12.4 versus uh, the current version of 12.3.6. So we'll be very much looking forward to that. Um, that'll be exciting. Um, but in the meantime, we're focused here on this video. Um, we want to test out uh, the auto park feature here on 12.3.6. So um, as you guys may remember from the previous video, um, this is a 2022 uh, Tesla Model 3 that we're in now. So it does have the ultrasonic sensors. And uh, so it's not fully reliant just on the vision. Um, and so I saw in the... Uh, let me just go into park here. And I saw in the menu of uh, auto autopilot, if we go here in the menu, we can see here under the park assist, we have uh, standard, which we can opt for standard, which, which uses the ultrasonic sensors to sort of uh, measure the distance and to know how far away the vehicle is from objects. And then um, there's an option that we can toggle over to Tesla vision as well, which will give us a high fidelity uh, display of objects that are nearby. Uh, but nonetheless, um, the car will perform the uh, the auto park feature. So we're gonna we'll start off by testing it out on Tesla Vision and see how uh, see how we fare here. All right, so I'm in a uh, a parking lot now, and what's interesting is there's a couple of points here. Auto park is not going to work in every situation. Um, there's a couple variables to trigger it here. We need to be going. Uh, eight miles an hour or below, or I believe the statement is below eight miles per hour. And uh, there's some of these cobble, cobblestone type pavement parking spots here that don't really show up um, as an option to park. We can see here we have some of them in front of us and we've got a bank of two you can see that are starting to show up here just to the right. So if I'm able, if I tap one of those, you can see here that we get a prompt that says come to a complete stop and then it turns blue here on the button and we can hit start and then we get a right turn signal that turns on here and I'm gonna pull up the cameras so we can see uh, exactly how the vehicle is gonna center up in the lanes unfortunately there's no vehicles uh, next to us otherwise we would uh, we would shoot in there and park and, and see how the car lines up between two vehicles um, but we can see here Auto park feature is uh, pulling us right in. We can see the uh, the Tesla Vision uh, high fidelity rendering here. It looks pretty good. And as we come back here, see you can see that that parking stop is sort of lighting up in this orange, just red red color, letting us know that there's that ob that object that's there, that obstacle. And uh, it did just fine. So you can see here we're we're pretty much almost evenly spaced right between the lines. All right, so let's give it another shot. We'll go around here. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to switch over to uh, let's go to autopilot, and we'll go over to uh, standard park assist, and let's see how that does. All right, so this is just a uh, little lake house here in my community um, that we wanted to go to. I was I was hoping that we'd get uh, some parking spots that would show up here as an option to park in between uh, a couple of cars, but we don't seem to be doing that. Uh, we don't seem to be getting that option, I should say. And there's a spot on the left we just passed by. It didn't show up, and I think it's because of the uh, the, the pavers here. Um, that are not giving us that option on all of the pavers, but let's see if we can we can shoot in a different spot here. 
Uh, we are we're at four miles an hour. Let's see if we get something that shows up. Yeah, it only seems to be this bank of uh, parking spots over here that are showing up as an option. I don't know why that is. But we'll uh, give this a shot. We'll pull up the cameras here. All right, you do need to pay attention when this is going on. You need to be prepared to hit the brake to pause uh, the maneuvers here if you need to. So this is kind of slow here, you know. If there were if there were cars waiting for me to clear out of the uh, roadway here, um, I could see them growing pretty impatient. Um, so clearly, there's some uh, there's some progress that can be made, um, and hopefully, we'll see that in the next version of 12.4. But there's some uh, improvement that can be made with uh, with the auto park here, hopefully, to speed it up a little bit because certainly, uh, uh, you know, usual human, typical human, could have parked a lot faster. Certainly, I could have than uh, than what we saw there from those two attempts. Uh, but nonetheless, I think we're we're going to drive to a, a, a different parking lot to see if we can get some uh, some other cars, some some more interesting uh, footage here with some other cars that we can park in between. All right, we've got some uh, parking spots over here to the left, and we've got a few cars now that we can uh, have to contend with here. So let's see. Uh, we can see now. We can see all of these parking spots that are now showing up. Now that we've got a blacktop uh, parking surface here, so I'm going to pick this one. Um, in between these two cars, we'll come to, uh, actually, we want to target this spot here, which is in between the two cars out to my left. And we'll go ahead and start the sequence. It's going to have to pull forward here. Which it's doing right now. All right, well, that was really good. Again, it took it some time, but uh, you can see here we're, uh, we're right where we should be, right in between the, the two white lines, so that was really good. All right, and I think just for good measure, and you can see here, th th this, is, this is pretty nice too. You can see as we're driving along here, we've got some spaces that are showing up and the great thing is is you can select between i don't want that one i want that one or maybe i want to go back to this one or perhaps i'll change my mind i'll move forward a little bit and i've got some other options that are parking up here one two three so either one of these you can easily just sort of cycle between hit start and be on your way So the way that the interface works um, to toggle between these parking spots and the way that they show up on a display of selections is, uh, is really good. It's intuitive, makes sense, easy to understand. I think the only uh, pain point here is how long the parking process can be, uh, especially if you have people around you in a parking lot that are, that are sort of waiting for you to get out of the way. But nonetheless, we see uh, the auto park feature works quite well. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next uh, filming and the next uh, episode here, which hopefully will be um, next week at some point. Uh, we hope to get 12.4 and we'll get out and we'll start testing that, which I think will be, uh, you know, if Elon's correct, it'll be five to ten times better, which will be uh, 
pretty significant. So we're looking forward to seeing that, and we'll see you back here.